بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون I have not create, created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Letting us know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for ibadah, for worship. And that worship should be directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Tabaraka wa ta'ala. And that our worship should not be to anything created, whether it be the environment as Allah created it, whether it be the awliya, the saints, the righteous people, as, as no matter how we revere them, Allah created them, whether it be even those in higher status, meaning the anbiya, the prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam, Allah created them, Allah created Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, all the way to Jesus and Ibrahim, and Moses or Musa and Muhammad alayhim afdal salatu wa salam they were all created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they all called their their people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and to avoid shirk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa laqad Ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasulin in ni'budullaha wa jtanibu ta'bud. We sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Letting us know that our purpose is to worship Allah alone and that all the prophets alayhim afdal salatu wa salam they were sent with that same message even though their sharias were different, their laws were different. And they were all sent with the message of telling their people to avoid shirk. To avoid those things worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ta'ghut. And so the believer strives to adhere the, to the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as that is a part of our aqidah, their our creed and that makes up iman and that's a part of taqwa Allah a part of fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is adhering to his commandments and avoiding what he prohibited subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings as there are so many distractions in this dunya so many things to take us away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so many things in this dunya and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from being distracted from this dunya from those things which bring about no benefit to us wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam